Don't let them bother you. It's okay not to have sex. Not everybody's a pussy magnet. You, uh, what are you, 25? I'm 40. Holy shit, man, you got to get on that. Life isn't about sex. Life is about children and passion yeah. and spirit. Yeah, it's life's about passion. It's not about fucking and balls and pussy. It's about love. Communion After Dark.
Hello, welcome back to Community After Dark. This is Winters. You are tuning into the August 28th edition of Community After Dark. I am back from the dead. I've got my full voice and I'm only coughing here and there occasionally, but I hope you liked my set. I'm here with Gold and Paradise. Uh, that last song that you just heard is Sex Code out of Spain. And that is the song Logarithm. And that is the Logarithm single that you can get on Bandcamp that is self-released. I am in love with this band. It's a newer project. Um, let me know what you think. And before that, I played brand new Esper Machine out of the U.S. And that's the song Overboard, which is off the brand new Love Apocalypse album that is self-released. Which you can get on Bandcamp and other um, streaming device networks devices websites whatever you call it <laughs> and the fifth song in my set was brand new we the north out of sweden and this is the song unpure and this is the unpure single that came out on misty recordings that again you can get on Bandcamp, you can get it on itunes amazon this song is amazing i was super excited to see brand new we the north yeah that's really cool i didn't know he was you know putting anything new out so it's good good to see. All right, the uh, fourth track in Winter's set was by Noro Makina. Noro Makina, who they are out of Colombia. And the song you heard was Dopamine. That's a single, self-titled single, on Cold Transmission Music. So go pick it up. Some cold, dark wave music there, I believe, from Noro Makina. It's a little bit more poppy, not so much in the... It, it's a little bit more kind of like mix, I guess. Mix. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, the third track we heard in Winter's set was by ES23 from Germany with their song called Now. And this is from their latest release called Dancing with Clouds out on Factory Recordings. Go get it. It's a great club album. It is. Yeah. If you haven't bought this album yet, definitely buy it. It's amazing. Buy it now. Now. <laughs> And the second song in my set was Brand New Noise Resistance out of Russia. I love this band. And this is the song Gallo Dance. No, it is not a cover of uh, Lebanon Hanover. It's a completely different song. This is on Shades of Hatred. And the uh, Shades of Hatred album was um, dropped on Advoxa Records. So you can get that on Bandcamp, iTunes, Amazon, wherever you prefer to buy music. And I started out with Nano Infect out of Greece. Um, another big, hard banging band that I love. And this is the song Fall Asleep. And this is the sad Sadistic Injection remix mm. um, that is on the Never Sleep Again maxi single that actually released in June um, that you can get on Apple Music and Amazon. I don't believe this is on Bandcamp at all. Cool. So yeah, right. I kind of like said, wake the fuck up at the beginning of my set. And then I got all nice and sent poppy for you. Yeah, there you go. That's a nice little uh, way to handle the set. Mm -hmm. I like it. All right, we're going to do our shot of the week. Then welcoming all of you back. Thank you to everybody who continues to listen to our show. And I don't Support really us. have any alcohol in the house per se, but my husband always has beer. And mm. I hate beer. And so this is a little shot of his beer that <laughs> I just brought him. Shooting beer now. Musa next to beer. No, it's going to be gross. I know it's going right. to be gross. I can smell it. Cheers. 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 The drink, you drink. How do people drink beer? Like, especially uh, IPAs. I just don't get it. Like a hat pan so it I reminds like, me i used to like I, ipas they were like okay for a little while then they started giving me a headache yeah mine was a raspberry lemonade shot it was like raspberry vodka with some like lemonade flavored liqueur oh Pretty awesome decent yeah decent where'd you have I gold just, i just mixed some cranberry juice with some uh uh with uh, coconut rum oh both of you guys had better shots than this this Beer? Foot shot. I didn't know if it's like I thought it'd make it, it made it what I thought sour and sweet. 
All right. Um, I'm going to be next with more music. I want to thank uh, the Mad Professor for joining us last week, filling in for Winters. Thank you, Lance, for taking over. Yeah, good job. Lance did a good job. People seem to enjoy uh, some of the stuff he was playing on the show. So good deal, Lance. And um, uh, we have a show coming up um, local. If you go to concerts and you want to come and see a great show, this coming Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got um, Daniel Meyer coming to town playing as Destroyed, or now it's called DSTR. It used to be Destroyed. It's not that anymore. Um, plus, uh, Cell Mob will be playing his first ever live show in Tampa. So that's pretty awesome. Very excited about that. Um, with a large amount of guests singing on stage with him. And that's only two days away. So if you're listening to this on Monday, the show is on Tuesday. That New World Tampa and, and Gold's DJing it as well. So it's going to be a good time. Come out and, and yeah. uh, you know support the show. I'm excited to have Daniel Meyer here. And, and the, the Cell Mod show is going to be really crazy. And did we ever find out who the possible special guest is going to yeah. be? Yeah. Like it's, I yeah, it's the guy. I, I can't remember his name, but it's the guy that used to be, or is in that band, You Shriek. Yeah. Oh, okay. That that, that, that did vocals for, for some Selmon songs. And like, I get that it's a Tuesday, guys, but this is going to be an amazing show and it's an early show. So you can do it on a school night. Right. Plus, we're going to have like. Uh, Alex Matthew from uh, Negative Format singing there uh, with Selmod, along with uh, Jared Lambert from Ian Oblique, a band that disappeared <laughs> a long well, time ago. Well, Ian Oblique was, i um, not sure if anybody knows this, but Jared was Ian Oblique with the beloved Bryant. Yeah, that that's right. The DJ Dark. Griffin was in that band. Yeah. That was a, man, it's, it's amazing how many years ago that album came out now, and in fact, the recordings. Right? That was ages ago. But it was a good time when it, when the album came out. It was pretty popular. There were some good club songs on there. It was. It was played at the castle a lot too. So yeah, it's coming Tuesday. So come out and support that. It'll be a good show for sure. Jerry, so girl, be... I'm not dancing to myself. <laughs> 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 All right. We'll come back for more music. I'm next.
before it's too late.
Welcome back to Community After Dark. I'm Paradise, and uh, it's the second set of our show. So we hope you are sticking with us and listening to the whole show and blasting it at your party or at your work or wherever the hell you are. Um, the last song you heard was from a classic band. They're back with the upcoming album. It's a fantastic. I, I forget. Um, I read what number of album this was for them, but I don't remember. They, I think it's like the eighth studio album. I'm not sure. Oh, the 14. Oh, 14. I was going to say, it's it got to be a lot more I'm, I'm way eight. short. Yeah. Eight seems short, but I was like, whatever. Uh, Orchestral Maneuvers in the Dark out of the UK have a brand new album coming out called Bauhaus Staircase. And they released the single, the self-titled single already that you can pick up anywhere uh, if you want to hear it and pre-order the album. It's on their uh, label called White Noise. That's the name of their label. I bought the single on Apple that you can buy wherever you want. But it's just, if you like 80s, the new wave sound, the classic sound of orchestral maneuvers in the dark, because they've, they've changed uh, you know their sound. They've updated it. It doesn't sound just like you know when they made that song for Pretty in Pink, if you leave. So yeah, they've, they, they're a band that has um, really you know stuck around and done some fantastic stuff over the years. And they're just a fantastic band in general. So I love the new single. What do you think, Gold? Oh, it's good. It's yeah. good. I mean, yeah. There's uh, limited edition vinyl and CDs numbered and then regular ones. So those are up for sale now. That's right. All right the sixth song I saw was by a band called The New Division out of the U.S. Uh, the song you heard was Show Me Love. That's a digital single. It's self-released. I love this track. I'm a huge fan of New Division, so if they put out stuff, I usually play their music. This sounds... And this is probably for fans that maybe are not outside of the industrial scene, but it's a great band. They, this song sounds a large amount like a band called Cut Copy. Mm -hmm. I, the vocals that he used, the way he did his vocal styles in this sounds almost almost identical. It's a fantastic track. More alternative maybe on one side than than dark, but it's it's just really good. Does uh, Cut Copy even exist anymore? Oh, yeah. yeah they're mm -hmm. still around. Yeah, they're okay. still around. That's a fantastic band, too. Mm -hmm. uh, just for fans of synth pop music, you want to find some good bands, those are bands to check out. Uh, the fifth track in my set was by a, an artist, two artists. The artist mm -hmm. called N.O. and Anna. They're out of Canada. The song you heard was Synchronized, or Synchronized, I'm sorry, Synchronized is the name of the song. And it's off mm -hmm. the album ST, which I am assuming stands for Self-titled? I don't know. Uh, it's on Tone Recordings or Tone Recordings. Uh, this is a really cool dance track. I just recently heard. And, yeah, good stuff. Yeah, I uh, bought this album, and it's just so weird when uh, Paradise added this to his set. I just added this to this very song, to because I, I DJed this past weekend. So I just added this very track to... Uh, a selection because I always put a folder aside when I'm DJing that sets the tone, I guess. So this yeah. is an amazing song. Yeah, it's a good dance track for sure. Good stuff. All right. The fourth song in Paradise is that brand new Marcus Midnight, also out of Canada. Um, and this is Taste the Cold Steel. And this is on the Nightwork album that was self-released. Another great album. And no, this isn't, this isn't about uh, Marcus paradise getting donuts at midnight <laughs> it's actually a really good band taco that bell. i followed for a while taco bell yeah yeah no but it's good cold wave artist yeah he's he's good stuff and i have two canadian artists in my set that's like a first that's awesome it's good eh? hey i'm yeah. ready for some poutine <laughs> go ahead and go buy me some beers eh <laughs> get the beers eh use the money i gave you earlier you idiot <laughs> when they use Yosemite Sam's voice and, and Strange Brew, I don't remember that. Yeah, yeah. Their parents, their, their dad's voice was Yosemite Sam. Oh yeah, they use that. They use that in it. Oh my god, I have to yeah. go back and check that comedy out if I can ever even find it anywhere. All right, the third track we heard in, in Paradise's set was by a band called Sinkshin Fact Sink Factory from Finland, and the song is called Brand New Vermin. And that's a self-titled album. Album self-released yeah. on Bandcamp. 
Yeah, very good hard dark electro band out of Finland there. Worth checking out for all the rivet heads. Good stuff. Second track in my set uh, was by Rune Conflict and Distorted Signal, which is a new artist that recently signed to Infactor Recordings. Um, Rune Conflict's out of the U.S. Distorted Signal's out of Germany. That's a the Distorted Signal project is Torben Schmidt, and I forget the other guy who's associated with that project. But um, good song. The song's called Memories. I love this track. This is a dance mix of the track. It's a digital single you can get on Factor Recordings. Um, the song came out originally as like a ballad type sound. So there's two singles of Memories. One's more of a ballad, which is with piano and it's very pretty. And then this is more of a dance mix of the track. So if you like it, go check out both of them. Uh, and the first track in my set was brand new Kanga called with the song Bad Girl. Bad girls just want to dance, according to Kanga. And the uh, album that she's coming out, that this will be coming out on, is called Under Glass. It's not out yet. This is a fourth single that's been released off the upcoming album, and it is on Artifact Recordings. So bad girls just want to dance. I have to keep that in mind. And Kanga will be at Absolution in October this year. Yes, yes that's mm -hmm. right. Very excited. Absolution's coming up fast, people. It really There's is. some great shows coming up locally. I don't want to, like, you know, hammer that to, to death, but there's some cool, really, September's got some great bands, man. Mission UK, mm -hmm. uh, Cold Cave, um, and then uh, Split Second at the end of the month, and, <laughs> of course, Absolution. So, uh, v, v Nation, unfortunately, we had that uh, September 22nd, in case you haven't heard if you're one of the people who bought tickets and i guess some people don't stay on social media all the time but vmb nation show is rescheduled to uh, march 29th of 2024 so hold on to your tickets they're coming to tampa on march 29th 2024 but it is not happening on september 22nd and the weather is going to be so much better for an outdoor show it's going to be amazing yeah it will be a better um weather definitely the weather will definitely be nicer at that point i would agree with you so all right gold is coming up next more music this is community after dark radio and you are listening to dj gold
Desolation. My throne. Desolation. Alone.
crazy mother. to find So what is it that I can do To not be left behind In the
welcome back to Communion After Dark. I'm DJ Tom, and you just heard my set. And in that set, you heard KY from Germany. Her full EP is out. You've heard the Bebor Baton remix of Grey Room. This time, this was the Royce remix. And this is from the new Grey Room EP you can get on Bandcamp and all digital services. Do we know yet where KY is from, or is it just yeah, an she, artist that... No, no, she's from Germany. Oh, Germany. Yep. Okay. Was she in some band previously, or is this her first what, song? What I know of. Okay, I've never... Yeah, I was just curious. A new, you know, it's, it's a really good EP. She's got, like, Rob Dust remixing on it. Just about everybody. I saw that. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, prior to that, we heard brand new x Dies from Germany. They, they're doing remixes from their... Uh, Monstars. Monstars. And this is the Reaper remix of Hot Like Carrie, which was was my favorite song off the last album. Oh, was it? Yeah. Yeah. And the, this is a digital single uh, precursing the album coming out on, on Dark Tunes music. That was a Reaper remix, right? Yep. Yep. Nice. Um, I'll read this. So the fourth track in Gold Cell was by Signal Out. 42 out of Germany. Oh, oh single, single about. Um. About, yeah, but I think it's spelled A O U T, isn't it? Is that how they spell yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, a boot. A boot. A boot. Mm-hmm. Uh, 42 out of Germany. They're, uh, they're a classic band that have been around for a long time. They are they have a new album, I believe, coming out soon on Out of Line Music. They've been releasing a few singles as a precursor to that. This is a new single called Memories, which you can pick up now on out of line or digital services but go check it out good stuff um if you're a fan of skinny puppy or those style bands you you definitely will like this band all right the third song in gold set was brand new spank the nun out of us that was desolation unknown featuring laser punk and that's on the bunker tapes three that you can pick up on Bandcamp. is that out now yep oh yep. wow i got All my right. copy. I got I bought I got my physical copy. Nice. Yeah, you're right. Well, yeah, you pre-order your stuff. You're good about that stuff. With a, with a sticker. With the sticker too. Wow. Cool. All right. Prior to that, we heard a new song from Clack. This was a, a a song to DJs only. He they played it live at um, Terminus, but he's you know he says in the description that he's a lazy DJ, so he likes to like lazy mixes for lazy DJs. So he, he handed he handed them out to all the DJs, and the song is called "Body to Body to Body," and it's a digital single. But you don't have to be a, a DJ to get it; you can get it on Bandcamp. <laughs> yeah, and and that's a, a cover, obviously, from Two Four Two's "Body nope. to Body." No, nope. no, no, nope. no. Nope. It's it's a, it's a little. Are twist you sure? On it. Yeah, it's a little twist on it. Oh, okay. Because I, I was listening to, it, I was like, I could swear it was the 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 two four two track. He I mean, sounds like it. He kind of plays off of it, but I think some, the lyrics are like totally different. Oh, okay. I, I could be wrong, but I I don't know. I, I mean, so. you you might be right about that. I don't know. Yeah, we'll have to do more research on that one. Because I think because he because he, he even changed the song like. The title's different too. I see that yeah. body, two body, two body. Yeah, yeah. So there's like three bodies <laughs> instead of two. <laughs> All right. Well, anyways, what was your first song, Gold? Oh, we heard a. Uh, if anybody remembered uh, M- Madrill H- Hart- Hardis, she was uh, a vocalist in Ashbury Heights. She's doing her own solo album, mm. and this is a new single off of it called "Bye Bye to the Heart." But she had Ashbury Heights remix it. Yeah. And you can oh, hear wow. everybody's voice on it, so it's really good. Oh, that's amazing. Well, she um, is classically trained, and I mean, she oh, yeah. did that one song with uh, Ashbury Heights where she oh, did I the thought vocal. she was on. I thought one she was on two. that one. I thought she was on that album with them. No, no, no. She no, that wasn't her. Um, but she's done it. a lot of guest vocals. She did the, I believe, one or two tracks with Ashbury Heights. She did a bunch with Nature of Wires as well. Our buddy Gary Watts. She's done a number of things yeah. with him. She did um, Wild Eyes. I know that one. Right. Yes. Yes. So, but she is a classically trained artist in general. So she's got a crazy range on her voice. So that's awesome. I'll have to check this out. I've not heard the Ashbury Heights remix of uh, this new song that she's put out. But I saw it was on the DAC charts. So that's pretty awesome. She's, um, you know, charting 
pretty cool. All right. Um, I want to read our donations for the week. And thank you again to everybody who donates. Uh, I also want to thank everybody who um, has bought some merchandise from our store at Teespring. Uh, by the way, we haven't posted it yet, but um, we do have worker shirts. Believe it or not, we have new worker shirts after all these years. Um, I have to post some pictures of them. They're very similar to the same to the ones we had years ago. So if you want one, now we're selling these ourselves. Um, they are not being sold through Teespring. But I know many times, especially over the years, people ask about the worker shirts. Um, we will, we do have them now. So I'll be posting something though. I promise I got to get a picture and post it on Facebook, uh, for the uh, actual worker shirts. But uh, gold, if you want a new one, I can get you a new one. Just give it to you. Or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in the market for one. Yeah. It's pretty cool. After all these years, man. I mean, it's been a long time. Did you, did you guys, I guess we're going to have them up soon. Did you guys see all the pictures of everyone going to, uh, Going to that festival wearing our, wearing shirts. I saw the Infest. Least, yeah. Yeah, awesome. Yeah, we gotta post some more pictures of people who sent us, like you said, people sent us some pictures uh, wearing their shirts. So I thank you again to everybody who's doing that. And yeah, and Rick Newman. Yeah, I saw Rick Newman sent us a picture too. He bought a shirt for Infest, so that's really cool. We're like being represented in Infest. Or is that in the UK? That's in the UK. Yeah, yeah it's, a, it's the least he can do. Yeah, it's awesome. All right. Uh, monthly donations <laughs> this week were from Alonzo White, Jillian Tate, Johan Rombaut, Zoe McKay, Dave Steinhausen, Mr. Phoenix, Aaron Euro, Amy Black, uh, Matthew Nixon, Peter Grunwald, uh, Kalani Robinson, Tim Feely, Scott. Scott White actually sent us a one-time donation. Thank you so much, Scott. Scott said, been a while since I donated. Thanks for CAD. Uh, Scott White is out of West Palm Beach, Florida. So thanks, Scott. Fantastic. Thank you again for donating. Thank uh, one you, time. Scott. We appreciate that. I know you've done it in the past, and thank you for still listening after all these years. Um, got also got a donation from, monthly donation from Cat, Christopher Starr, Evan Wazinga, Lance Cooley, The Mad Professor. Thomas Durig of the band The Purge. Thomas, I hope you're doing well. I haven't talked to him in quite a while, so I hope he's doing fantastic. Looking forward to more music from him in the future. Andres Mirzik, uh, Biblio Dude, Ross Martinez, Andrew Shawnatin, and I, Patrick Wardell, all monthly donors to the podcast. Thank you to everybody again. Um, if you want to donate, all you have to do is go to our website, comingafterdark.com. And you can hit the donate button and you can do a one-time donation. If you don't want to be a monthly donor, you, you know, we appreciate whatever you can do. It means a large amount to us. And thank you again to everybody who's been commenting on YouTube, uh, listening, continue pushing the show for us and commenting and liking the show. It helps out the algorithms to have new people see our show, but we actually surpassed, um, 35,500 subscribers. So, Hey, we keep going up. So that's awesome. Fantastic. I mean, uh, we're getting, we're, we're on our way to 36,000. Before you know it, we'll get to 40. It's a steady climb. It's cool that we keep getting new subscribers though every week. I like that. After all these years. All right. Um, Gold's finishing off with the last song. Gold, what are you um, playing? It's going to be a classic from Microchip Lee 2.0. And Razor Maid. There's a brand new uh, Razor Maid compilation with all the Razor Maid remixes on it, just about of all classic bands out on uh, Remission Entertainment. It's a double CD, so go get it or go get it digitally on Bandcamp. New York, New York? That's right. New York. New York. <laughs> well, you New gotta York, say it like New Christina York, Marie. New York. New York. New York, New York. <laughs> New York, New York. <laughs> all right. Enjoy and come back for some comments.
Lager wert. Welcome back to Kimi After Dark. We hope you enjoyed the classic track by Microchip League. That was the Razor May remix of New York, New York. Hope you enjoyed the whole show, the music. Go buy it. Check it out. We put all the links up for you so we make it easy for you to find this music on our playlist. Mm-hmm. You can find our playlist on any number of spots. KimiAfterDark.com, YouTube. It's all we have. We post the playlist everywhere. Um few quick comments and gold's got some stuff you wanted to show us too which is cool we got a comment from lorkin nagel who said the flow and pacing of the lyrics of the backlash comes by mystic underground really reminds me of chinese burn by cure this is of hmm. course a good thing and mad professor's guest set seemed to be designed just 
to hit my taste between that Fear Factory esque X-Dies track. Read more. <laughs> some down turn dirty bass synth lines, some weird ethereal vocals, and then some Depeche Mode sounding motherfuckers. <laughs> Thanks, Lorkin. Thanks for the comment, and thank you for listening every week. We appreciate it. This set was, ma- was mathematically put together anyway. It was, yeah. It I'm was, sure he, yeah. he had some crazy. For sure. Yeah. Um, David Munoz said, gotta say, gentlemen, some killer sets. Big fan of the D selection track because of that, uh, he said, because the temple <coughs> reminded me of early aggressive Velvet Acid Christ. And I'm glad mm. XRX have a new track, but am I the only one disappointed that they didn't use a sample of Dennis Hopper from Blue Velvet? <laughs> Let's fuck. Uh, I know see, that, that would have been perfect. Been perfect. <laughs> they but I think up. I think bands are getting more strife for using samples. I feel yeah, like I don't know about that. Maybe, but if Depending they could have used that movie. sample, that would have made that song even that much better. Mm-hmm. That is a fantastic sample. He's, he yeah. hit that he hit that one on the head though. That's a good one. And he I, said, I, I know he did it, but I don't know if when he said it, there was some music in the background. I don't know if it's. A oh, that could sample. be too. I don't know that if it's could, a clean sample. That's the whole right. thing. Right. It might not be. That could be. That could be. It might not be a clean sample, like you said, mm-hmm. and that that might be why it wasn't used. Or like Winter said, maybe it's one of those uh, movies where they can't use the sample, possibly. Um, and he said that, and the excise track might be the heaviest thing since Ministry was on Community After Dark. Cheers, everyone. Thanks, David. Thank you again for everything and all the um, support you provide to the show each month. <laughs> Ryan Pope five six five seven three said, "I was made for loving you." Was a surprise, but shouldn't have been. It was a disco song. I wonder if anybody. That's right. Yeah, I wonder if anybody's done "Wheel in the Sky." Question. Yeah. <laughs> what "Wheel in the Sky" by Journey? Yeah, was "Wheel that, in the was, Sky" keeps on turning. Yeah. Wasn't that that was in a Kiss song then? No, it's Germany. That I'm isn't aware it? Of, but it was Germany. Oh, okay. or Ger- I mean Ger- Journey. 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 Yeah. yeah. All right. Interesting. I don't know. Um, and then the last one was, well, that we're reading anyways was from. Um, I apologize. I had it here before. And now it's gone. Oh, thirteen beards. Who said I'm a scientist? Biology and informal science education specifically. Well, thank you, Beer 13 Beards. We thank everybody who uh, listens to us that are scientists. It seems like you have a large amount of scientists who listen to us. So send us some information or something cool. Like like Lance one time sent us this whole um, shot glass set that was made up of test tubes. And he gave us instructions on how to make certain shots. And, and what degrees to make them at and all this stuff. So if you're a scientist and you listen to the show, send us something cool, man. We haven't received anything cool in years from scientists. So we need some cool stuff from you guys. <laughs> we got so many cool scientists, uh, it seems like, listening to the show. We got to gotta have something to teach us because we're, we're, we're definitely not scientists. That's for sure. But, um, all right, Gold, did you uh, have something you wanted to show before we take off? Yeah, I got some po- really cool posts. Um, I don't know how many people on the show listen or watch uh, Star Trek Strange New Worlds. Oh, but, I was so sad that it was but, over. <laughs> but Christina Chong, who's on the show, she has a new singing career. Oh, wow. And oh, wow. She, and um, it's it's kind of like, it's kind of alternative. It's kind of like uh, cardigans or, you know, garbage sounding a little bit. Hmm. But, uh, but it came autographed. Nice. Oh, it was nice. Your autograph. And, I, and actually... And actually handwritten and mailed by her. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool. Nice. Yeah, but you can listen to it or pick it up any of the streaming services or Spotify and all that. All right. And if you haven't watched Strange New Worlds by Star Trek, watch it. Yep. Nice. Because the next season doesn't come out until 2025. I know. I was so sad it was over. I was like, there's no more. <laughs> I've been going back and watching, uh, not this has anything to do with Star Trek whatsoever, mm-hmm. but I've been watching all the Marvel movies in the chronological order. And I forgot how good some of those old Marvel movies I, were. Like, the first Iron Man was fantastic. The new oh, Star yeah. Wars one the with the, the girl is, like, really good. We watched the first two episodes last night. 
Oh, it's okay. Yeah, I want to watch those. Those are really good. Mm-hmm. Star Wars, and, yeah. Yeah, and you don't have to watch the Clone Wars to, like, pick up anything at all. Yeah. But, yeah, those first... Uh, but go back and watch those mar- old Marvel movies, too, if you like Marvel. Well, well, Disney, the- Disney will lay them out for you, too. They do. They have it see. in chronological order on their, their site. Where you can just start watching them from, like, how they're supposed to go in a certain order. And they're not all based on what year they came out. So they, they run in a certain order, which is pretty cool. Yeah, and they do uh, that with all the Star Wars, too. Yeah, oh, d- oh, do they? Yep. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, well, that makes sense. That makes sense. There's a lot of stuff on, uh, actually, Disney Plus, if you like, if you have the channel. It's worth checking out. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, that's it, I guess. We're done. The Mouse is coming on next week, so I guess we should say... Uh, yeah, happy, happy, happy Mouse Day next week. So come <clears throat> join us with her. And uh, don't forget Destroyed uh, and uh, Cell Mod or DSTR, whatever you want to call them, uh, this Tuesday at New World Tampa. If you're hearing the show early, come out and support that show. All right. All right. Enjoy bye, everybody. Bye. Have an amazing week. See you. Bye. Well, you guys have ministry. Come on, give me after dark. Yeah, that, yeah. If anybody, well, was we played last, a minute last time. Oh, no, I thought you, the, the I way it the sounds professor. is that like the band came on. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I wish. Um, they came on to whip their dicks out. <laughs> Will someone turn off that music? That's enough. I'm putting an end to this freak show right now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs>